the end of last week was okay. It was on Sunday, stuff started feeling real screwed up. And a lot of stress was in my face, and bad things were happening, and I didn't handle it well. And I suppose it could have been worse, but it felt like it was getting worse. And by Wednesday, I felt like I had taken a step back as far as progress goes. Today was treatment nine. Between last Thursday and this Thursday, I cried three times at least. Like, three big cries at least. Which is still a hefty amount of cries. And then Dan, who usually gives me my treatments, was out today. And I felt all sorts of out of whack. I was doing two treatments a week the past month. And then this week we started down to one. And it just felt like a month between them. My whole space and time concept is just melted and not having had treatment last Monday um, seemed not like a big deal at the time, but based on how bad Tuesday and Wednesday had gotten, I felt really disheartened by today. I developed this whole routine and it was pumping me up and giving me this momentum and then when I had that dip this past week, it really got to me and I started thinking about in how a little bit over a month I'm gonna have to be back at work and like you might think like oh yeah no biggie you got a month sim but you're not in my shoes you're not in my head so give me that and yeah I'm just not mentally or emotionally ready for that yet I also had a horrible experience because I cleared out all the photos on my phone for the past four months and everything was just staring back at me from the entire decline that I had had, like the last bit of this depressive episode that had like pushed me off of the cliff into like the depths of hell, just going back in time, thinking about everything and the emotions that I had during those times really, really screwed me up. Uh, but during treatment, I listened to a playlist that a friend sent me and that friend is sad now and I am sad for them and I am sad because I think I unintentionally triggered more sadness for them over the weekend and the music didn't make me sad, but I had a hard time not being super caught up in my head about the past week. Fortunately, there were little bursts of clear meditation where I wasn't thinking much at all and I was able to relax, but it was hard. And as usual, I did a lot of processing during the time when I was in the room and I felt super tired. This bravado makes me really sedated. When I close my eyes during treatment, though, there's no relief. It's harder to relax. I found out that if I close my eyes for several seconds at a time and then open them again and see the lights on the walls and the ceiling, it's comforting. But I can never really be more than just a few seconds closed at a time where the darkness in my mind really starts to dig its claws into me. After treatment for the first time, I felt very awake, though. That was a change. Normally, I am super zombie zoned out. And for a while, I felt tremendously overstimulated, which turned into hyperagitation. When emotions were high at home, with people not feeling well and complaining loudly... There was an overall air of bad feelings. It took me a good while to kind of decompress from that. I would say that I still kind of am. After we got mom with ALS to bed, I washed the dishes and I went back into my room, finished some things on my to-do list, and I was dissatisfied how I was feeling. And I was sad, and I'm still pretty sad. But I ended up going to the living room where she's got her hospital bed. And I crawled up into her hospital bed with her, and she giggled while I was trying to make it work. And I laid there with her for a while while she watched Mission Impossible 3. I put a blanket on my dad, who was exhausted, half snoring on the couch, when I went back into my room. And I started writing down what I was going to say in this video. And that gave me a little bit of peace to end the day on. I know I'm still going to have bad days, but boy, do bad days feel real bad. I'm hoping in the next month that the bad days that are upcoming, because obviously there will be unless I croak tomorrow or whatever, which hopefully I don't because I want to live um, anyway off topic. I hope that they'll feel less bad and that things are going to be better. This isn't the garden of blooming flowers update I wanted to provide for you, but it's what I've got. Next Thursday is my next treatment. I set myself up with theoretically an easy and fun stream for tomorrow on Twitch. 
got a lot of high stress things happening in the next couple days and I'm trying to minimize things that are going to cause me too much anxiety so please cross your fingers for me that I have a better update next week say a prayer send vibes into the universe do what you can I appreciate it I appreciate you making it to the end of the video yet again and we'll talk soon